this is definitely one of my favourite spots to come and camp. Massive views out across the Pacific Ocean and seeing the islands out across the ocean, it's just awesome. So, gonna be setting up camp now, setting up the rooftop tent, and I'll show you pretty much how I set the truck up and how it's all kind of now configured um, with all my gear in it. So, the truck is absolutely filthy by the way. I just had to go through this big mud section through this creek to get up here. <laughs> it's, it's, it's gonna need a wash. So, first of all, we definitely need some bloody mosquito spray. Bit of the good old Aeroguard. So basically, we've got this big drawer here with a tray. So this is, uh, this is my pantry. So basically have all food and stuff like that. Uh, tea, coffee. I've got my um, really cool little drifter bags here. I've got my jet boil in one of them. Uh, I'll show you how the kitchen. So this is the kitchen. It's on that clear view drop slide. So basically inside here, I pretty much have things like stubby coolers. I also have uh, some, some bush company clear top bags, so paper towel, things like that. So basically everything to do with cooking is in this box. So from uh, knives, uh, things like that, uh, washing up dishes, um, spatulas, tongs, everything's inside this box in here. And then the kitchen just simply folds down like this and then I can access that same compartment from in here to get things out that I want so on the kitchen side I've also got a table just under here so I've got a chopping board it's pretty pink thanks to the missus so it's a um, uni flame table that I just set up beside a campfire. I'm not having a campfire tonight, but yeah, just something you can put hot things on, which is really cool. So that's the um, Road Chef, um, or you can get him in the Travel travel Buddy. The Travel Buddy is Australian. Um, I think they're kind of out of stock right now. That's why I went with the Road Chef. Um, and Mitt's Alloys made me up that nice little tray. The uh, boys down there sorted that out for me. So on top of the pantry, I have the Bush Company cutlery and dining set. Um, so Dean has a couple of different styles of these. I'm pretty sure he still sells this kind of triangle style one. It's designed for his canopies. Um, and then he also does one that's just in a, in a simple box um, as well. So basically, that's pretty much it. It's pretty cool. So... I've got uh, pots and pans in there, and then you got um, plates. So it comes with six plates, um, six bowls, six smaller plates. It comes with, uh, I think, six glasses as well, and everything kind of secures in there with a um, bungee strap so it doesn't move around. And then you've got um, all your knives and forks and um, comes with these really nice steak knives as well. So I really like this kit. So this is pretty cool. I'll show you how this pan goes together. So basically that just slides in like that. And there you got a pan. It's pretty cool. So I've just got the cooker, cooker out there now on the kitchen. Um, I'm trying to find a smaller cooker that'll actually fit on one side of the clear view uh, kitchen. So I have to prop this wide ridge rider one up slightly. So around this side of the truck, um, you've probably already seen the fridge, um, the Evercool with the drawer. So I don't have anything in this fridge right now and it's not on, just for the fact that 
I've got the other Bushman running. Um, so this is this is for bigger trips at the moment. Um, got my shovel up there with the Yakima clamps. And then we've also got a fire extinguisher up here. And up the front here in the canopy, this is where I'd, I charge camera batteries and stuff like that. The drawers, basically in this drawer I kind of have um, mainly fire equipment. So things like I've got gloves, got a, got a new, I just bought a new set of gloves, got those in there. Um, also got a um, good old baked bean sandwich, more butane in there for the, the gas cooker. And then I also have a barbecue plate um, that I got from the local camping store, just for on the fire when you're not gonna use gas and you're gonna cook just on the fire. So that's kind of why I've got that. And then I've also got my bare bones. Love this ax, it's so nice. My bare bones ax. Really nice little ax with a sheath. So, haven't even got a chance to use it yet. I've also got a machete in there just for, for tracks and things like that, clearing tracks. And then in this front drawer just here, I have basically fans. I've got fans for the rooftop tent, so they're in a Bush Company clear top bag. I've got uh, wiring, so this is all my Anderson connections and stuff like that. So it'll be, um, I've got dual Anderson to one Anderson if I want to run two panels into one um, thing. It's also got um, alligator clamps and stuff in there. As you can see. So basically just extension cords. I've also got a watt meter in there and, and a couple of different bits and pieces. Basically everything to do with um, putting a secondary solar panel out on the ground or something. So, or if I have to charge a, a buddy's battery or something like that. March flies want to have a go today. So that's basically just all steel pegs and ropes in that bag. Always carry a snake bike kit. In case you get bitten by a snake. So basically I've got sand pegs. Also got a blower in there um, for the fire. Candle Adelin. Sometimes I fill this up more depending on how much more gear I'm taking. Um, but yeah, and then all my camera stuff up there. And then my seat, which I've already gotten out. Normally lives up here. So, and there's the shovel. Got a first aid kit just over the back there as well. Fire extinguisher. So I've got two fire extinguishers. I've got one in the canopy and I've also got one in the back seat of the truck. So I'll set up the tent now and show you guys how that goes up. So I dropped me ladder. Well, I got mud all over the roof. Fantastic. I'm gonna have to clean that off later. The tent just goes up like that. You can either run the bungee cord up the top or down the bottom. I run up the top. Let me get the spring poles in the hole up. Hold the uh, rain fly out. And that's pretty much done. How is that epic view from the rooftop? There's nothing like a rooftop tent camping, especially waking up in the morning. If you've got an awesome view like that, looking over everything. Such an epic spot. I think I've said that about 10 times now, but I've got a little uh, tap just here on the back of the truck as well. 
So. Water just there. It uh, definitely wouldn't be a camp set up without a brewski, but. So this would be part of the reason why I love camping out of a vehicle. Um, because the canopy is removable and I can take it off, I can use the vehicle for both work and play, like with camping and that. I can just take the, jack the canopy off and everything goes with it. The ladder, the tires, everything inside, the rooftop tent, the awning, the shower, everything comes off the tray and you just disconnect the power and that's it. Just a couple of big Anderson plugs on top and it all comes off and can stay at home. So, but I love it that just everything's in there. I don't have to pack anything if I want to go away. I just simply get in the car. I've just got to put food in there and that's it. And just, where you go. So definitely do love camping out of a vehicle versus ground tents and things like that. I still love a good swag. Don't get me wrong. Nothing wrong with a good swag. So it's kind of, it's real down to earth camping when you jump in a swag and um, I still do enjoy camping in my swag so rooftop tent's great it's just kind of climbing out of it every now and again when you're in the middle of the night if you got to get down or whatever it's kind of a pain in the neck but so the crossing to get into here was quite muddy it's definitely caked on and it's thrown it everywhere. It's up there on the rooftop tent. <laughs> oh, good fun. So there's really not too much more I can kind of show you guys about the camp setup. Like it's basically the kitchen side of the truck and the rooftop tent, chuck out a camp chair and that's about it. I wanted to keep things, keep things, I wanted to keep them really simple with the truck. Like I just, a rooftop tent, you put it up, that's it. My kitchen, it drops down, everything's inside. I've got an upright fridge. That's my fridge. Everything's in my fridge. That's that's pretty much it. My lighting is on the canopy door. That's all I need. I've got a little lantern there if I have to go for a walk somewhere or anything like that. I've also got my head torch. But it's just very basic and simple and it just it just works. It doesn't have to be complicated. And that's how I wanted the inside of this thing laid out. I just wanted it simple. So I'm just gonna chill out here for the rest of the afternoon. I really wish I did bring some wood now and had a fire, but anyway, shit happens, I guess. But yeah, catch you guys in the next one. Make sure you like and subscribe. And yeah, plenty more to come on the channel. F250, the old F250, Ranger Raptor, camping, adventures, and everything else that's going on. So, all right, guys, catches. Come on, why don't you go? Bloody March flies. They're like, I swear they take like a 10 cent round hole out of your leg when they bite you. I'll get you, you bastard. <laughs>